son of the insurance man. And it shows how different the whole history of England might have been if great people in the past had all been insured. When I'm canvassing folks for insurance, some historical facts I disclose. For instance, I say, look at Adam, poor Adam. Well, every insurance man knows. If he's only paid nine pence a week, that's all. If he'd only paid nine pence a week. When Adam woke up in the garden and found he'd been robbed of a rim, so to speak, he'd have put in his claim, been as rich as a king, that instead of those piglies he wore on the string, he'd have been fully covered for everything. If he'd only paid nine pence a week, that's all. If he'd only paid nine pence a week. Horatio Nelson, who lost both one eye and one arm, then had to go back to Trafalgar to fight, when he might have bought such a nice farm. If he'd only paid nine pence a week, that's all. If he'd only paid nine pence a week, he wouldn't be stuck on that column today in a uniform rather antique. He wouldn't look down on the vultures who spout and think what the deuce are they raving about. While the pigeons are picking his other eye out. If he'd only pay nine pence a week, that's all. If he'd only pay nine pence a week. Now you've all heard of Cassie Bianca, a brave and courageous lad. But he wasn't insured when the vessel got burnt. Still, I don't blame the boy, but his dad. If they'd only paid nine pence a week, that's all. If they'd only paid nine pence a week, when the boy stood alone on the ship's burning deck, he'd have felt more content, so to speak. For there on the deck, with the flames leaping higher, when four little cats of his trousers caught fire, he wouldn't have borrowed his sister's attire. If he'd only paid nine pence a week, that's all. If he'd only paid nine pence a week.